Welcome, ladies and gentlemen. Thank you so much for your always great support. This morning, William Ruto was meeting his cabinet ministers at State House. We thought like that the meeting was going to come up with outcomings that was going to change this Kenya Kwanzaa government. Some cabinet ministers we expected to be either fired or they were to resign. As per the demand, the Gen Z's gave William Samoyoto. We never knew that William Ruto was going to retain these cabinet ministers in the name of giving us government keen on charting a new future for the country. Yet, that those who were killed, as I was just watching a video coming from Ongata Rongai, where a 12 years young boy was killed by police officers during the demonstration. On this side, the cabinet ministers, they are recommending the good job done by these police officers. Yet, some are burying their children. Some, their children are in hostel because of the change that we wanted in this country. But we've seen William Ruto is not changing. He's not having any idea and even some words he was being told to change. We never wanted some individuals in this cabinet. People like Mithika Linturi. But as per what we're seeing today, is that according to William Ruto, he wants to retain this cabinet ministers. Yet, people like Ongata Rongai, they are mourning a 12-year-old boy that was killed by police officers. On this side, members of cabinet, they are recommending a good job done by police officers. where the residents are mourning the young boy that was killed during the demonstration. Now, according to the reports, we have been told that the president said that the government must now focus on charting a new future for the country, pointing out that significant changes must be made to align with that new future. On any officer who may have acted outside the con uh, confines of the law, the cabinet said, they will be dealt with in accordance with the legal procedure and by the institutions mandated to do so. Let me ask a question before we continue reading this statement. We expected these cabinet ministers to, to be removed. Now they're giving, giving us their recommendations. We expected William Ruto to change some issues here and there in this government. He's now recognizing that all is well in his government. And so now, whatever they're doing, they are preparing themselves to work. What about all those two and a half years? What were they doing? Now, so the cabinet also called for action against those who have committed heinous crimes of arson, looting, and robbery, among others, saying such atrocities must not go unpunished. But the question is why the agencies? 
they were not changes. These were sponsored goods by individuals. They must investigate who are these people. You know, it was not changes. Now, on the withdrawn finance bill, President Ruto said the national treasury is reorganizing the budget to accommodate the new reality. What is this new reality? They are telling us this time round, the public uh, uh, servants are going to receive their salaries late. Our schools will not have the, the, the money. Our hospitals is going to having a big problem of medicine. All sectors across the Republic of Kenya because of just the rejected finance bill. But was this the problem of Kenyans? Not really. It was them who were trying to impose something that we never wanted. If they knew what was going to favor Kenyans, they could have not prepared this finance bill 2024. Now, on the other hand, they're saying this will include substantial cutting down of budgets to balance between what to be implemented and what can wait, and ensuring that the key national programs are not affected. So the key national programs must not be affected, but the common Munainchi, they must be affected. And so William Root is saying that their plan is good and solid, and in the fullness of time, we shall be vindicated. William Ruto and his team will not be vindicated because these people, they're not having that idea of working for Kenyans. You know, so our expectations were that the government, or rather William Ruto's cabinet minister uh, meeting, was going to have a solution that one, two, three of some of individuals in this Kenya Kwanzaa government, they were to pave ways from their offices so that those who are competent, they were to be given these spaces to work for Kenyans. But now it seems like William Ruto is not changing. And remember one thing also, if 14 days is going to be finalized, we are busy watching if this is going to be automatically the law. As per what they are telling us, that now they are directing the National Treasury to reorganize the budget to accommodate the new reality, which for us, we are being told, it is not going to be easy for Kenyans because we have rejected the finance bill that could have assisted us. That is according to them close allies of William Samuel Ruto. So I'm shocked this evening as some Kenyans are literally crying, mourning their children, their brothers, their sisters. Yet the government of the day, they have committed themselves that nothing is going to change. Those who are in the office who are incompetent must remain serving the Kenyans. That is what they are tell telling us. So I'm just shocked and it's so painful that now we're having a government that does not recognize the people and they will not and they're not prepared and they're not willing to listen to the people and that is why i will still tell you that william Ruto is not a man that will change he's going to do whatever he can do that is it you storm the street you don't william Ruto is a man that usually believes in his own ideologies he never believes in someone's ideologies even advice. William Ruto advised himself always. So the time is now that we are keenly watching every step of these individuals. Because earlier on, when there was one in the office, what, what were they doing? They were busy making money, using the influence of their offices. You know? Do you know that as we speak, some cabinet ministers are even fearing to use their flags on their vehicles? Why? Because they're feeling like Kenyans will notice and they will feel the wrath of the people. So I think the old statement, the, the statement that I've seen here, is eventually proving to us that these cabinet ministers are going nowhere. These cabinet ministers are going nowhere. Because as per those who are close to William Ruto, they told us that William Ruto was so furious and he was planning to fire some cabinet ministers. That is what I analyzed. But as per what we are seeing to now, now, it's like now these people are comfortable. They are trying to vindicate themselves that they are going to work. But I know they are not going to work. Some individuals, they don't listen to the people. Because they're feeling like someone is pushing, you know, these Gen Z's to say something. And so they're feeling like, ah, let's continue. That is whatever William Ruto is trying to do. 
ladies and gentlemen what do you think drop your opinion at the comment section below otherwise thank you so much because of your great support please consider subscribing liking commenting and sharing this video bye bye till we meet in another video